Every year, millions of Americans do not go outside. They stay cooped up in their homes on Facebook and Instagram, browsing the internet for hours upon end. But the truth is, they're just terrified to go outside. They're terrified for one reason. And there's only, there's only one reason why so many Americans, an entire nation, would be terrified to go outside. That is because of ghosts. When we were little, the most terrifying thing happened, and it traumatized us for life. We were watching TV in our living room, and our parents were abducted. The goats just busted down the front door and took them away. The goats... The, go the ghost goats took our parents. The ghost goats. The ghost goats. Ever since that incident, we have been dedicated to finding and eliminating the threat of supernatural activity. This has become our life mission. We are here on the corner of Pina Blanca as a, a response to a homeowner complaining about supernatural activity, but he will not specify why or what kind. Guess we're about to find out. All right, this is the house we are investigating. Sims, seemingly normal household, only affected by supernatural entities. This is our homeowner. Ma'am, can you tell us a little about the ghosts that have been disrupting your, your living here? <laughs> ma'am, ma'am, it's okay, it's okay. What? They hurt my dog. What did they do to your dog? They make him cry. What's your dog's name? Taz. What did they do to you, Taz? Tell them. It's okay, baby. Tell them what they did. They gave him a bad haircut. I'm sorry, ma'am. That's terrible. Poor baby. Just look at him. He won't go out of the house. He's so ashamed. Is he terrified? Yes. Well, I assure you, ma'am, we can put a stop to this immediately. <coughs> can you wait until they cut her hair <coughs> first? We are setting up our high-tech ghost catching center. We have a few laptops here. Let me show you. We have got this. I don't, I don't know what that. What is that? I don't even um, know what that is. Okay, well, show us the software. Whatever. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we have our high tech stuff. Very high tech. Very expensive. Very professional. We are We're ready gonna... to listen to some ghosts. Okay. High tech headphones. Catch us some some ghost specters. These are these are the Ghost 101 headphones. You can only hear ghosts through them. You don't even have to plug them into anything. You just hear the ghosts. I just have to be very, very quiet. It costs a fortune too. So now after we have everything set up, we are ready to go. We are just basically going to go around the house with a flashlight and the camera, asking the spirit questions and hoping that it will respond. And we're using all of our high-tech software that we got from Craigslist from very, very high-tech, very experienced ghost hunter himself. He was certified from um, Google. It's. It, I think it's pronounced Google. 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 Yeah, he was certified there, and we feel like he's a very awesome person. We very, spent very good associate. Of dollars on our headphones, our cameras. We're ready to hunt ghosts, and we're really gonna catch them. Yes. This time. Now, I've heard reports. The homeowner finally decided to disclose the information that the ghost has been actually moving objects and has actually caused physical contact with the house owner. So this could be a very, very intense case. Viewers be warned. Violent ghosts are scary. Yes. Maybe Don't pee your pants. Poop myself. <laughs> We're in the... Oh, oh God. But What's wrong with your flashlight? The first... We have contact with the ghost. What does it say? With the ghost. Oh my gosh, something just touched me. Like, it seriously just, like, grabbed my foot. I swear. Like, it came from under the bed. But when I checked, there was nothing there. My heart is, like, literally pounding right now. I'm You're so freaked out. not hearing anything on the ghost headphones yet. Oh my god. But this is, a, this is a weird type of ghost. We've never dealt with this before. This they is... usually make noise, and there's no... 
There's no noise. There's just light flickering. This is definitely one of the creepiest cases we have ever been on by far. We are setting up in the most suspicious part of the house, the fourth bedroom. Now, this is where the homeowner told us to enter only at her own risk, and that whatever happens in there, she is not liable. So, here goes nothing. Alright, let's go. Alright, we are setting up. Hopefully we'll catch something, you know, some kind of ghostly image. <gasps> I can't do this anymore. It's it's too much. It's just I can't keep doing this night remember, after night. Remember the paycheck. Remember, remember the paycheck. Remember the paycheck. Do you let's think of what the ghost goats would want. They would want us to do this. They would want us to be scared. Oh, you're right, but I think this one's real. This is we can't, we can't let the ghost goats win. No right. more ghost goats. We're not gonna let them rule our lives. We can't let ghost goats ruin. We're gonna be awesome. Let's just go get that ghost. Right. For the goat ghosts. Not for them. For our parents that were taken for by us. the ghost goats. Alright. Let's do this. We have to find the source of these people's spirits. And we have to capture it. I feel like this ghost is trying to convey a message about television. Something about technology. After it messed with our flashlight, you know what? I know just the thing. This, this is an EVP slash EMF detector. It's combined into one and it is very high tech. We can ask the ghost a question and then replay the message later and there will be an answer. What is your name? Coke or Pepsi? Are you dead? If so, how is Elvis? What do you want from us? How many people have peed their pants in your presence and are you proud of that number? Are you here with us? Was that you? What is the land of the dead like? Have you ever played Candyland? I found you any new signals. I don't know. I think there was. Look at this. Look at this. That's one of the EP points. It's off the charts. I know. It's ridiculous. This is by far the most activity we've seen in a long time. We have never seen this much ghost activity in our entire careers of being ghost hunters for the, the whole two weeks that we've been ghost hunters. I know. It's ridiculous, man. But even that, they the Gosh, that's a B. B for. We need to have a meeting about this. I think we've characterized oh the ghost. God. Let's go. Okay, so we have, based on our research, our data shows that we have found the identity of the ghost. And we are 90% sure that it is none other than Beethoven himself. Beethoven lived in this house in Arizona, the small house in Arizona with this piano and he's very mad now and we don't know why exactly but we do know that the safest way to remove a ghost from a house is to make it very angry when a ghost is possessed it'll go flying out of the house and so angry just does not want to be there the house may explode but the ghost will be gone yeah what oh my god oh my god i think it's working we, we're angering him Okay. 
We have to, there's only one way to make a Beethoven ghost mad. You know what that is? Rave dance party! Okay, so we are in the kitchen, and I'm hoping to catch any kind of activity of ghosts. Okay, so that was really creepy, and I think I'm going to go investigate. See what's cool. Kyla, I found some more evidence and stuff. Kyla? Kyla, go. Kyla, where did you? Oh my god, no!